This is Joe, technical engineer from Wacom. Today, I want to teach you how to set in the come to communication parameter of the PLC. This video, I will divide into two parts. The first part, I will show you how to set come to in the LX5V series. And in part two, I will show you how to set come to in LX3V. LX 5V uh, setting the COM2 parameter is uh, easier than uh, LX3V because 5V can set in the parameters in the uh, PLC editor too, and you don't need to program in the letter. So I will start from the LX5V. Okay, now uh, let me open the uh, Wacom PLC editor too. and create a new project okay and you will see the parameter button here and click here you will uh, you will see the PLC parameter and double double clear here and it will put out a window and then you you will see the come to and click the come to button now you can set the come to parameter and you can choose if you want to enable uh, it. Okay. And uh, you can set a communica uh, communication parameter like which uh, protocol you want to use. This one is the Wacom protocol and you also can use the yourself user defined protocol and modbus modbus rtu modbus uh, ask to okay and then you also can set the communication uh, parameter like uh, bot three or bot three can uh, uh, up to nine hundred and twenty one thousand and six hundred Okay, and the data bits and the stop and and the check bit. Now, even okay. and from here you can set the station number. Okay, and. And then uh, you can save your setting, and also uh, and then you down, uh, download it to the PLC, and the come to setup is done. And next, I will teach you how to set a come to in the LX three V. LX three V come to can also suppose Wacom protocol and the Modbus protocol. Now two adjusts are very important for setting the communication. Okay, the first one is the D8120 and the second one is D8126. Six. Okay, the D8120 uh, is used to uh, setting the communication format and then D8126 is used to choose the protocol that you want to use. Mm, we total uh, of five uh, communication protocol. Uh, Wacom PLC protocol uh, it is uh, uh, used to communicate with uh, communicate with uh, Wacom HMI or Webox and Modbus RTU monster and Modbus Ask monster. And Modbus RTU slave and Modbus uh, Ask slave. And today I will mainly introduce three protocols because the uh, usage of the uh, RTU and Ask are similar. So uh, I will only uh, introduce the Modbus RTU. 
and I will start from the uh, Wacom protocol. Okay, if you want to use Wacom PLC protocol, it is very easy to use. You only need to move the uh, zero, 01 edge to the D81 and 26 and uh, choose, choose the communication formal you want to use and move it to the uh, D8120 and how to set uh, how to uh, set the communications format for example the uh, if you uh, if you uh, wake home HMI communication format is 9000 and uh, 600 and the uh, stop bit is 1 and uh, uh, data bit is A and uh, par uh, parity is now. Uh, you only, uh, you need to set uh, B7, B6, B5, B4 to one zero zero zero, and uh, B3 to zero, and uh, B2 and B1 to uh, zero zero, and B0 to one. Okay and uh, we need to switch it to the uh, hex number uh, it is uh, 81H and we move the uh, 81H to the D81 and 20 and you need to pay the attention is if you use mm, uh, data bit is 7 uh, priorities uh, can cannot choose the noun okay and we also uh, we have a demo you can uh, check it and we move the uh, h1 it is a Wacom PLC protocol to the D8126 and move the uh, h86 to the D8120 the default uh, communication parameters in the HMI it is uh, 9600, 1, 7 and even. Okay. Next, I will show you how to set the PLC if, if it is a slave a station. Okay. F uh, first, in the uh, Wacom PLC, if you want to set it to uh, as a slave uh, device you need to choose the model bus rtu monster uh, protocol or ask monster protocol okay so we need to choose 02 or 03 uh, and move it to the d8126 and also we need to set the communication format for this we also have a demo this is the demo first we need to choose the uh, protocol we move the 2 to the D8126 means we set the uh, PLC as a slave device okay and the second we need uh, need to move H81 to the D8120. Uh, this letter uh, we set a communication parameter to the uh, uh, PLC, and then we need to set the PLC station number. The D8121 is used to set the uh, PLC station number. And uh, last one is D8129. Uh, it is uh, used to setting the time out, setting the time on time. And we moved K300 to the uh, D8129. Means uh, if you uh, if if the PLC cannot uh, communicate with other device in a 30, 30 uh, minutes second 
you will uh, display the error. And if you want to know the address such as x0 in the um, model bus protocol, you can check this table. Okay. And I will show you what to set up if your PLC is the monster device. And and now please uh, check the demo. Uh, we will use this demo uh, to read the bit address from the other device. First, uh, first we need to choose the protocol. And if the PLC is a monster, we need to move 20 to the D8126. And then we need to set the communication parameters. In this demo, the communicate uh, parameter is 9600, 1, 8, and 9. And we need to move the DH1 to the D. Uh, we need to we need uh we need to move H eighty one to D eighty one twenty, and then we need to uh know the slave slave station number, and if we want to read a uh, uh, bit as just, we need to use the zero one function code. Okay. And in this demo, the slave station number is 1 and the function code is 01. So we need to move the H101 to the D0. About the function code, we can check here. The 01 means read the bit address. 03 is used to read the re register. And then so on. You can check this menu. Okay, in this demo, the slave's uh, address is zero, 0, so we move the H0 to the D1. And last, we need to know the uh, the values length. And in this demo, the reading length is 5. Okay. And then we need to use the R uh, RS instruction to read the data from the slave and at least uh, the first value uh, the RS, RS instruction need to know the slave's uh, station number and the function code and the second value uh, the RS instruction need to know the slave's address and the third value uh, the RS instruction need to know the reading length and then uh, RS instruction will show the value in the D3 about a demo about a demo you can uh, enter our support center to download it and uh, test it thank you for your watching